want to introduce you all to a, a phenomenal doctor, Dr. Daniel Dalci. He's the volunteer medical director of Chabad, and we save many lives together. And on a constant basis, calls come to Chabad House, and they say, Rabbi, please pay for my son, please pay for my daughter, father, sister, brother. And we say, hey, do you need medical help? And they say, well, they can't get in the hospital, they can't they know what to do, their insurance. We call Dr. Galchi. And with our roster, many of you are watching, of doctors and dentists and mental health professionals, within minutes, the person is helped in a way that they, did, that they had no idea how they're gonna get help. They were crying after God, and God answered them through Chabad, and through Dr. Galchi. And um, Dr. Galchi, would you like to speak about how the Torah teachings of the Rebbe, since your early childhood, and even going back to your mom, have inspired what you do on a daily basis, and inspire you to do this great volunteer work, literally saving many, many lives over the past 20 years. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mendy. So happy to be here with you. Uh, you know, the, the work that Chabad does is so important. And uh, really, it's about the physical body and through Mendy, what, what he has taught me over the last 20 years, it's also about, about the, the soul and uh, keeping, keeping the soul and the body together, vibrant, happy, healthy. And uh, many times we've encountered situations where, where people really needed medical, ther medical therapy, life-saving medical therapy, right then, right there. And uh, Mendy was on the phone with uh, doctors all up and down the coast, nationally, internationally, uh, getting those patients what they need. Very, very complex, complicated situation. One of the things that Mendy taught me that's so important is you need a doctor who knows very well and who also cares very well. And so every day in what I do, that's what I try to strive for, not only the knowing, but the caring. And, uh, and I'm, I'm so happy that uh, Chabad is here to not only guide myself, but, uh, but uh, the entire community. Thank you very much, Dr. Gopsi. And if you could please um, tell us a little bit about track good, but design good, think good, and will do good, and how that teaching of the Rebbe, from, of the Chabad Rebbe's, now that inspires you're taking on even the most impossibly looking situation and then watching Hashem make it good, the think good and will be good technique. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because you're not listening, this will benefit, this will save your lives as well. Just listening to this fantastic advice. So many times we've had patients when people are in severe, uh, have severe medical issues, it really affects their mind, their body, their soul. And uh, this idea of talk good, design good, thinking good and it'll be good is so important for healing the mind, the body, the soul, and uh, uh, with, without this particular slogan that's always in my head, talk good, design good, think good and it'll be good, it keeps, it keeps uh, uh, myself going and, and more important, the patients going. Thank you so much, Dr. Galchi, and I have to say a special thank you to his wife, Amanda, and his kinderlach, his children, Kain Yibu, Chodat Yodamun Konar, and just a really big thank you to the whole Galchi and Zarabi family for, for, for being so proud of Dr. Galchi and, and supporting his work that he does 24-7. Um, Our phones are on on Shabbos you know, for emergencies, and, and we, we have to use it sometimes. And, but we're here to help everybody. I want you to know that. So um, please donate generously. A lot of you are my students from many years ago. The Rebbe sent me here over 30 years ago in 1990. And I met many of you when you were undergraduates, medical students, doctors, I meet you today. Please donate today to help the great work that the Rebbe started here on the West Coast and throughout the world and sending my parents to do this great work, founding the Chabad House. That was already 55 years ago, 1965. And then 69, 51 years ago when the Chabad was actually purchased. So uh, please donate. Open your hearts. Open your accounts generously and donate to Chabad. Dr. Galchi, please give him your medical pitch about giving and donating to Chabad. Okay, cool. That's it? No, keep going. Go. Okay. You know, Chabad has been there for the entire community. Rabbi Shlomo Kunin has been there in, here on the West Coast since the age of 25. 
And thank God we have his children and we have his children's children as rabbis and emissaries in this community. And, and many, many shluchim, thousands of the rabbi shluchim on the West Coast as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Teaching Torah, teaching Yiddishkeit, teaching happiness, teaching trafut v'zayngut, saving lives both on the spiritual side, both on the medical side. And uh, thank you so much, Mandy. Thank you so much. We want Mashiach now. Momo Mashiach, Halon Michaim, Hamin Alon. A lot of times you hear me speaking Farsi. He's also, I must say, one of my main Farsi teachers. So thank you, Dr. Alski. Please donate gen generously. Please say that in Farsi to do donate generously to Chabad. Let's hear a Farsi pitch about donating gen generously to Chabad. Cheli, cheli, mamnun. Por favor, cheli, pul, Hamin Alon. Hamin Alon. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Donate online. Go to www.tolife.com.